Motivation does not work. There's so much hype out there about get motivated, going to motivational speakers, and it doesn't work. It is a temporary fix. It gets you excited for a moment, for a week, for a month, maybe even a couple months, and then it wears off. That's not how you're gonna to get to your goals. get to your goals is by making a commitment. You have to decide what your goals are and commit yourself to them. Once you have a commitment, you have to also have integrity. In other words, you have to commit yourself to those goals and hold yourself accountable to them. You can't just make that commitment and then not do it because then you're not being self-integral. And I just learned recently that 90% of us will actually commit to other people, but we won't do the same thing for ourselves. The other thing you've got to do is once you've kind of got your commitment, you are going to be self-integral, meaning you're going to, you know, actually do it. Then you need to go ahead and set up some habits. What are the habits that it's going to take for you to actually achieve what you've committed to? So in other words, like for myself, I'm about to run a half marathon. In order for me to do that, I have to run a certain amount of miles daily and then a certain amount of miles on a weekly basis. So I know that my habit has to be that I have to run six days a week and I have a schedule and I have to stick to it. And I happen to know what happens when you don't, the pain side, because I've run two half marathons. First one I trained really well for, second one I didn't train so well for, and it was incredibly painful. <laughs> and so now going into it, I am very self-integral. I'm going to make sure that I commit to what I say I'm going to do. And so the reason I share this is because in business, it's exactly the same thing. You make a commitment, and I, I'm so guilty of this. I make commitments, and I don't keep them. I say I'm going to make this amount of calls. I'm going to reach out to this many people. I'm going to you know, hit this level in my company. All these different things, but then I'm not holding myself accountable. I'm not being self-integral to myself. I'm not setting up those daily habits and not only setting them up, but making sure I hold myself accountable to them. So it's great to have a plan and it's great to have goals, but if you're not going to commit to it and if you're not going to hold yourself accountable and be self-integral and if you're not going to figure out what those habits are that are going to get you there, you're never going to hit your goals. And that's why I sit here four years later, still not where I need to be because I've allowed other things in my life to get in front of that. And so I'm gonna challenge you, if you truly have a goal and you really, really wanna hit it in your business, figure out what it is, commit to it, hold yourself accountable. Only you can hold yourself accountable. You know, you can go and, and get motivated and excited and I go to all kinds of trainings and do all of that, but what I have found is I just, I get home and the motivation wears off and I'm right back where I started. And that's why I know it doesn't work. So what's really important is that you hold yourself accountable. If we can be 90% integrity with other people and do what we say we're gonna do with them, then we sure as hell need to do that for ourselves. So if you have something that's really important to you in your business and you know that to get there, you have to do certain things, then commit to it, create the habits, and start out with small habits. Don't go for the big, oh, I'm gonna call 20 people a day, I'm gonna you know, go to five networking events a week, you know, whatever it is. Start with small ones, things that are achievable, and get in the habit of doing that. Pick three things a day. There's actually a really good app if you're on an iPhone called Commit to Three, and it allows you each day to commit to three things that you're gonna do. Start out with three. Get to where you're doing those, and they become part of your daily routine. And no, you don't have to do it for 21 days for it to become a habit. That's not true. It can become a habit much quicker than that. But don't let anything or anyone stop you each day. So set it in a time that sets you up for success. No excuses, no letting others interrupt. Because if you do, all you're doing is, you know, messing up your own goal. So again, motivation, not the way to get to the goals that you want. You want to set a commitment or make a commitment. You want to make sure that you're self-integral to that commitment and accountable 
and then you want to set the winning habits that are going to get you there. If you've enjoyed this training and like to get more training just like this and be part of a really supportive group, I'd love for you to join in our private Facebook group called www.thegreatescape.biz. Again, that's thegreatescape.biz. And I look forward to seeing you on the inside.